Don't play with me. Hi y'all! Welcome to another vlog. As y'all can see, I'm in my kitchen. So let me run through what we're going to be doing today. Today's Wednesday, March the 29th. I never know what the day it is. Okay, March the 29th. I already went to the gym today, you guys. So I went to the gym. Matter of fact, I need to cook my breakfast right quick and then we can chat while I'm eating because I got to get the moving, okay? I'm about to fix me some eggs and three turkey bacon. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch while I do so. <laughs> we gonna let the bacon cook a little bit first. It takes longer than eggs. Eggs be done in one second. While that's doing that, I can update y'all on what's going on in life. So today, you guys, I already went to the gym today. So I'm currently doing two a days. I've been going to the gym twice a day, er day. So I will go in the morning time and do weight training and cardio. And then at nighttime, I will just go and do cardio. So that could that consists of 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. So that's what I've been doing. And my reasoning for doing so is because for one, y'all, I really need to get this weight off of me. And I'm doing this as a punishment to myself because I'm currently in a weight loss challenge. And it was a six week weight loss challenge. And for the first three weeks, we're, we're on, we're, we are doing a third week right now. And for the first three weeks, I did the workouts, but I wasn't eating right. So, oh, I thought my camera was messed up. So, as a punish to myself, I'm going to the gym twice a day, which is, it, my body been feeling good. I will say that my body has been feeling amazing, but I am tired. Tomorrow, um, so twice a week, I'm not going to do two a days, but on those days that I don't do two a days, I'm just going to do an hour of cardio. So that's an hour on the Stairmaster. So that's still pretty much like a lot. So that's what we got to do today, you guys. But I have some content that I need to film. And my nails look terrible. And it's time for my nails to get done already. As y'all, like, look at my nails, y'all. Look at my cuticles. See how they, they don't want to focus. Don't focus on this. What is that? What is that? What is this? What the? See, I don't like seeing stuff like that. So what the heck is that? Ooh, that's disgusting. Y'all, this has been the ghettoest cook with me ever. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm gonna just cook it. I ain't gonna worry about it. I don't know if I ever not paid attention to that or what, but that thing a little got a little baby in it, don't. The weight loss challenge is for six weeks. Um, the is three when the three winners are going to be chosen so so for the first three weeks i was going to the gym and like exercising and doing right with that but i was not doing right with eating right so i'm punishing myself so now i'm going to the gym twice a week for the next three weeks so far i'm on day three of going twice a week and it's been going good i have already seen change in my body Today, I was the lowest that I have been since I've been, since I've been over 200 pounds. This is the lowest that I have seen yet, which is 201.4. So my goal is to reach 
under 200 by April 1st, which is Thursday, Friday. So I got two days to do that. <laughs> and I think it could definitely happen because yesterday I was 202.6, I think. But um, so three winners are gonna be chosen. First prize winner wins a thousand dollars along with other things like we're following it on this girl app. So she'll give you like a, a year free of the app. She also has a um, athleisure line. So she'll give you an outfit of that. But the biggest prize is the $1,000. Second prize is 500. Third prize is 250. So I'm not just doing it for the prize, but I do wanna show up for myself because I feel like I always set goals to do certain things and reach certain levels and I don't be doing it like I fall off and I just have to keep telling myself like if you keep letting food overpower you listen you ain't gonna never lose weight so I'm forcing myself and I'm forcing myself to really get in the gym and work out which I've been doing but I've been doing a lot of weights which I've been getting much better at y'all I be in there like oh you can do this is all in your mind because today today was legs and I wanted to give up so anyway What's on the agenda today? I already went to the gym. Now I'm back home eating my breakfast. I took a shower, changed into some more gym clothes because I'm not gonna get my nails done. That's what I was trying to show y'all. My nails look ferocious. okay? They look a mess. They look a mess. I'm going to get my nails done because I have a lot of content that I need to film and I'm gonna be showing my hands and I talk with my hands and I just don't like how my, like, I can't, I just can't y'all. I just can't do it. After that, I'm gonna go eat lunch. I already calculated in my calories of me getting a super green Caesar wrap, which that thing is 600 calories, y'all. You never realize how much calories are in the things that we eat when we go out until you actually start being intentional with calculating it. Like 600 calories in a wrap. So that's the wrap is 600 calories and then I'm gonna get a smoothie. I'm going to get a QB Quencher smoothie. The smoothie, I need to make sure that I do not forget to tell them with Splenda. Because the Splenda makes it like 240 calories. Without it, it's like 470. So I have to be intentional and say with Splenda. Then I'm going to go back to the gym, do 30 minutes of cardio. Then I'm going to go get the kids. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I am done with getting my... What are you... Lord, people just be backing up. Like, you don't see me coming? You don't look before you back up? Like, or, you know what I'm saying? If you can't see, creep out. But they just be going back out full force. Like, oh, I don't care who coming. Whoever coming, gonna, they gonna stop. Like, go ahead, lady. People be probably think I be talking to them or fussing at them in the car when I be talking. I really be talking to y'all. <laughs> so I just got my nails done, y'all. And then I went into Target. I went into Target for one thing. And then I seen at Target, this specific Target I went to had their workout, um, had their like uh, workout section like all laid out and they had some, I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. Now the stuff that I bought, I can't fit now, but I told y'all before that I don't buy for what I can fit now. I buy for what I, the size that I know I can get to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's because it's like, I'm not gonna wear that right now anyway, so. <laughs> I'm about to go into uh, tropical smoothie though, y'all. I'm hungry, and then we're gonna go work out. Okay. So these are my nails, you guys. This is how they look. Just the lavender. Um, I'll put the name up of the on the screen of the color, just in case you want it for yourself. It's some minor things. You see how like some of the nail polish is on my skin, but yeah. What is that though? that but I got this. what's happening y'all I'm so tired <laughs> baby I'm tired let me tell you all ready today I woke up this morning and I already wasn't in the best mood, right? So I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I just, like, my kids was getting on my nerves for sure. But I had a whole breakdown in the car. And then I went to the gym. I struggled to get through my workout, but I did get through it, right? And then when I got home and I took a shower, I saw what was wrong with me. If you a girl, you know. 
Um, I'm drained, y'all. I'm tired. My body tired. I should have took some Midol. Freak. Anyway, y'all didn't come here for that. Um, hold on. I'm trying to fix this camera. I'm using my phone. I forgot my dig on. So we are on our way to take the twins to their two-year checkup. Y'all, y'all hear that rattling in my car? I always hear it when I'm vlogging, and I read. Well, I hear it in person, but I know y'all hear it. It's this rattling noise. So then, so I'm gonna take my car to my dad's. My dad's gonna try to see what's going on with that, along with my. I think they're called shocks. Is that when your car is like too bouncy? Yeah, I think something is wrong with that. And then y'all know he changed my brakes in the last vlog, but I still hear metal grinding. So he was saying that it might have been my rotors. But he was saying that he checked my rotors and they wasn't bad. But he was saying they might be cracked and he missed it. So he's going to recheck that. But I was on the highway and I'm like, oh, my baby, a little too bouncy. Like, burr, 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 burr. like no, what's going on? So, yeah, my dad said it was that. Um. Today is Friday. You guys, I swear, every time it seems like I'm vlogging, y'all always experience me like complaining about something going wrong. But I swear, that's just how it be happening. Like, it just seems like every time I'm trying to be productive, life would just be kicking my tail. But today is just Mother Nature. Like, you guys, it's not even time. It's not even time for my menstrual to come, but I guess she decided to make her preg presence early. And y'all, she's kicking my tail. And the part that is really frustrating me with this is the fact that, so y'all know I told y'all that I'm doing two days. So the way I feel though, like I really feel like, like yesterday, what the, I don't even care. I yesterday I didn't do it to a day because yesterday remember was my rest day, so I just did an hour of cardio, which is technically like two workouts in one day because I was only supposed to do thirty minutes of cardio, but I did an hour. So anyway, I did an hour of cardio, and um I struggled to get through that. So like when I got home, we had to go take the twins to the doctor. So we took them to the doctor. As soon as I got home, y'all, I got in the bed and I went to sleep because I felt my body. And the crazy thing is, it's not even like, it's he like, I know it's TMI, but it's not even heavy. Like, it's barely anything, but I feel everything. So now I'm taking some Mito, y'all. So I, but I have to go to the gym, you guys. I cannot get off of my motivation i was also upset because it was my goal to reach it was my goal to reach under 200 pounds um by april the first so yesterday i was 200.7 right 200.7 i woke up this morning i was 201 <laughs> so and i i felt myself feeling heavier anyway because you know when you cramp it and stuff like that you just feel heavier so i'm just trying not to let it get to me y'all because this is how it always happens for me this is how i hop off the bandwagon and don't do what i supposed to do so today y'all i have not been taking pre-workout well i've been drinking celsius which you know that give you energy but to me celsius is not like it doesn't feel as harsh as pre-workout i was using my boyfriend workout which is his workout is woke AF. So I stopped um I stopped drinking it because it was like very strong and I felt myself getting like um like it's a thermogenesis. So with that when you're taking a pre-workout that's a thermogenesis. Even after you work out like literally all day you feel hot. And if anybody know me I don't like being hot. I get that from my dad. My dad does not like to be hot. When we used to go on trips out of town, my dad used to always be free. I put too much water. 
I need to use the less intense one. I put too much water. And it's crazy. I, I don't think I even told y'all. Remember I showed y'all this one? The one I'm using now, I showed y'all this in a, while, a vlog. I think like two vlogs back or whatever. In my, um, tea, my home goods haul. Y'all, the twins did something to it, to the stem. I think they bent it or something or pulled it out. It's just like at first, only this part was moving really fast. Now it's like the whole thing. It won't doing that at first. But it just don't go as fast as it was anymore. So I'm using this to mix my pre-workout up. But anyway, I am determined, you guys, to not, to not let this. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find a top for my mason jar. Did my I need some new mason jars because look how the tops are just so rusty. Lord. I don't even want to put this on. You know what I'm about to do? I'm going to put some more on the floor. Oh, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Eyes. Because I don't that top and the top part, like the top that's going to be actually touching my drink is rusty. And I don't like that. So, this will be good too. There we go. Okay. Everything around me is just hurting, y'all. Even my toenail hurt. Remember, I was complaining to y'all about one of my toenails is messed up? I decided to take a nail clipper yesterday and pretty much cut it off. So now I'm literally stuck with a mug. <sighs> I'm about to put these on my ears now, y'all. I gotta stop at 7-Eleven and get me a green juice and maybe a banana. I finished, I'm a, I have a book coming today that I definitely wanna tell y'all about. I'm starting this book though, The Psychology of Money. All right, I got my book, I got my phone, I got my water. I got my wipes. I take these to wipe down the machines. I'm gonna put my pre out in one of these containers. Well, I'm, is, dang, did I fill up my, no, I did not fill up my water bottle. <laughs> Like, sometimes I be thinking, like, it's so crazy how our bodies, and it's that I read that in the book that I wanted to tell y'all about. Our bodies literally will try to everything in its power to get us back in our comfort zone. Like, literally, every time I'm doing good in life, I just always, like, get, I don't know, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I just, something always happens to where it's trying to throw me off my rocker. And I am determined to not let it because y'all, I gotta do better. Like, it's, I just, anyway, that's a whole nother topic for a whole different day. All right, let's go to the gym. Ugh. Smile. I'm smiling. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, will y'all believe, first of all, okay, I know we made a big transition from how I was looking in the previous clip to how I'm looking now, but let me tell y'all, I had an amazing workout. I even added workouts on top of my workout. I don't know where that energy came from, but it was amazing. And I was really dreading going. Anyway, y'all, we about to go get ingredients to make us a drink okay so i saved this drink on pinterest it is a cotton candy margarita it says it calls for lime juice fresh squeezed cream soda cotton candy orange liqueur and tequila this is the only thing that i'm like okay so what is orange liqueur 
I'm trying to figure out because when I Googled it, like orange liqueur, it popped up that stuff that I had last time. I don't know if y'all, do I still have it in here? No, I think it's all gone. But I don't know if y'all remember, if you watch all of my vlogs, you know what I'm talking about. It was this bottle and I was saying something about the top because I was like, why does the wrapper not fit on the actual bottle the correct way? Matter of fact, this. But it says orange bitters. So I'm like, is that the same thing as orange liqueur? Is orange bitters and orange liqueur the same? Are bitters and liqueur the same? Bitters, unlike liqueurs, are often unsweetened. Though this too is not at all a rule. <sighs> okay, I, so why when I put in orange liqueur, this popped up see this is what i'm talking about like if i'm putting up orange liqueur why is that the first thing that pops up it's triple set liqueur oh wait yeah i said it's that so where can i find a <sighs> maybe in the abc store tequila fresh squeeze lime, fresh squeezed lime juice cream soda orange liqueur and cotton candy And then I have, I plan on putting this around the drink and making it all cute. And then I'm gonna use, of course, one of my cups that I have. So we're gonna use this cup right here. Uh-huh. And we're gonna put a little, mm-hmm. And then we're gonna, you know, you know, you get the vibes, okay. All right, you guys. So let's go get the stuff. I came all the way here because they said that they had the cream soda, but they're actually out. So, I don't know if I should try a different flavor because they never seen what flavor. But I don't see anything. Okay, y'all, so they had this brand of cream soda. I don't know. They just say Jamaican soft drink cream soda shit. <laughs> And then this is the only cotton candy that I see, but it has blue in it also. So, I don't want to have to pick out. Lord Jesus, why is this sun shaking like this? I don't want to have to pick out the pink. But that's what it's giving. Drink taking more energy to get than it is to drink, and it's four for five. So I'm gonna just get five on this one. I got all these kids, somebody else get it. So, um, that's, it. that's all I need from here. I already got the orange liqueur and I got um, the tequila. So now we're gonna go home and make that. I need to get some of these. I forgot the limes. Why y'all ain't remind me? Y'all heard me tell y'all that that was it. Why y'all ain't say even you forgot the lines? <laughs> I gotta find somewhere to go to some other. I gotta find somewhere to get some lines because I'll be. I'm not going back in there. The, them lines was long for no reason. Well, I guess people was trying to check out, but I only had a couple of things. Now I gotta find somewhere to get some lines. Y'all, I'm on my way home now, but I got a serious question because my feet hurt already. Any shoes that I wear, my feet hurt. Well, I'm not gonna say any because then I'm gonna, I'm about to be so like, but I'm about to say but. But the only shoes that do not hurt my feet are my Adidas. Um, I don't even know what they're called, but the shoes that I wear to the gym, they don't hurt my feet, and they're from Adidas. Dang, I can't even remember what they're called. I used to always remember, but there's some Adidas shoes. Y'all see my neck? My neck breaking out. It's getting irritated again with my eczema. But um, my Adidas shoes or Crocs. These mother freaking Nike shoes I got on. These Nike shoes I got on is killing my feet. It's, there's only one foot. My right foot. My right foot give me so many problems. Like, why are you acting like a dead on black sheep? Why you can't just cooperate? Honey, I'm home. We're back, you guys. Okay. 
Oh, we are back. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna get to moving on the drink. I got, let me show y'all what I got though. So, limes. Y'all seen the cream soda, so I ain't gotta show y'all that. Y'all also seen the cotton candy, so I don't have to show y'all that. Y'all, my feet hurt. My love hurt, y'all. My love hurt. Okay. So, cotton candy, cotton candy. Cotton candy, cotton candy. So, they did have triple set. This says orange liqueur. And I got Jose Cuevo. Is that a, um, I don't know. Is it cheap? I don't know. I don't drink tequila. And I dare go sure was not getting no um, Casamigos. That was not happening because I don't even drink tequila. Let me wash my hands, y'all. I didn't even show y'all my tripod. So let me show y'all. I can't show y'all too much. Not my feet now. So y'all see this? This is how it looks. This is the tripod. It has a Bluetooth remote right here. I literally only have three minutes left. Oh my gosh, what did I record? So the top part comes out like this. This is where you put your phone and it goes out. And then these are the legs at the bottom and it goes really high. I can't show y'all my, okay, let me show y'all. I'm a, <laughs> y'all can't see my feet. So let me see if I can back it up. Y'all see it? Y'all see how high it gets or tall it gets? Okay. So we about to begin, y'all. My kids is home. My kids are home. They got home too quick. Okay. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. We y'all might just have to ignore the noise in the back because I want to show you. you know, we gotta go through the practice version first, and then I'm gonna give y'all the cute B-roll version. So just ignore the noise, okay? I'm a mom. Keep that in mind. Okay. First thing is combine all liquid ingredients, including sorry, excluding soda in a mason jar and shake vigorously. So the liquid ingredients are tequila. Is the lime juice? Tequila, orange liqueur. Okay. So three fourth cup tequila. Half a cup of squeeze. Gracious. Y'all see how much I got out of that little squeeze? Like, ain't no way. Oh my gosh. Let me see if you can squeeze a little bit can out of it. So we're going to get down. I'm talking about some half a cup. Mm -mm. That's a drink up. Oh, Lord. That means we would need a whole lot. And I only got That's four. All right. Then we need a... Uh, uh-uh. No. Why are you bringing this stool? A fourth a cup of orange liqueur. Get down. Okay, it says mix that together. Y'all, I gotta use my mixer to blend it. Okay? Add soda and gently stir. Okay, so now I add the soda of cream soda. Ah! Oh, Jesus. I didn't know it was gonna spill over. Okay. It says stir gently. We gotta make the the cup now, y'all. So I'm gonna move this to the side. We gotta make the brim of the cup. Okay, so I'm gonna use honey, y'all. Yeah. Huh? You know what? It might not have been good to use honey because I think last time the honey, 
this is gonna be a test run now, y'all, with the honey. Cause I'm gonna make two cups of this. So we're gonna add the cotton candy now. This is just a test run, you guys. I'm gonna try to do mostly pink though. Ha! Huh, take some cotton candy here. Ha! Huh, ha, huh, Khalil. Khalil, here. They gave me the Jordan. Yeah. This is like yeah, my Jordan. Huh? Yeah. They know it do it. Good. See, it's best to get a picture before. And see, the blue turned it blue. I wanted it to be pink, y'all. I'm gonna have to try to find a way to just do the pink. Let's say add ice. Blue. So we're gonna do it well when I do my eyes, babe. I mean I'm, I'm talking to y'all to my babe. When I do ooh. when I do mines, I'm gonna for sure have to do okay. So you know what? Okay, I think I'm going to do a couple of things different when I do mine. Okay. He don't get the pretty straw because. Okay. So this is how it looks with the blue, you guys. For mine, I'm going to have to try to separate the pink. Like, I just want pink. I don't want blue. I see where he at. Don't play with me. 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 Where you at? Outside. Clean my car. What's up? Come taste the drink. All right. Don't play with me. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. It's supposed to be pink, babe, but the blue, of course, turned it blue. I'm gonna have to try to get mine to be pink. Cause I want pink, I don't want blue. Oh wait, I guess you ain't supposed to use a straw, duh. Cause you're supposed to sip it from the edges. I don't really review it. You know what it tastes like? Tastes fine. Do it taste sweet at all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you gotta finish that. Yeah! <laughs> Cause I'm about to fix my own. Okay, let me taste it now. Yes, boo boo. You definitely can taste the alcohol. For sure. It's good. It's strong. <laughs> Ooh, got a little burn in my chest. Um, it's not like overly sweet as you would think it would be because of the cotton candy. It's not overly sweet.
I like the taste that this the um the candy around it gives. Okay. I'm gonna take the ice out though so it won't get watered down. Okay, y'all. I gotta find out a way to take the pink out of these because we are not we can't have any more errors. Like <laughs> But it's mainly blue. Look. It's mainly blue. We're going to try. It's Friday, y'all. So let's make a cotton candy margarita. So I did three fourth cup of tequila, which I chose Jose Cuevo. Then I did one fourth cup of orange liqueur triple set. And it said squeeze a half a cup of limes. But listen, baby, I felt like I was doing an exercise. So that's all I was able to get. Okay. A win is a win. I used my milk frother to stir it up because I ain't feel like doing all that shaking. Then I did a half a cup of cream soda. I poured that in there. Stirred that gently because that's what the instruction said. I don't know why. And then I went ahead and put honey on the rim of the glass so that the pink crystals, sugar, what it rocks, whatever it is, it could stick. I added cotton candy to the glass and then I poured the liquor over. And this was the oh, wait, I added some ice. And now this is the finished product. <laughs> it was good, y'all. Hey. Good morning. I was thinking about Kaylani because that's how Kaylani be, y'all. Or when they, or when the boys get out the car, she be like, "Bye." She don't say "see you later." She be like, "See you." You know how like adults be like, "All right, see you." She be like, "See you." Love you. <laughs> morning. Every day. I'm on my way to the gym, y'all. I'm on my way to the gym once again her kicking my tail but we going to the gym y'all let me tell y'all yesterday i was supposed to have my cheat meal right i told y'all that i really wasn't feeling and this is why you should always listen to how you feeling yesterday i wanted to have my cheat meal now granted i only ate once yesterday which was just some eggs well okay before I ate my cheat meal last night, I only ate once, which was some eggs. I ate a yogurt with granola and some roasted potatoes. Roasted like baby red potatoes. So then last night, I wanted my cheat meal, y'all. I really wanted my cheat meal last night. Matter of fact, honestly, I really didn't want my cheat meal. But I was like, I know I can get a cheat meal, so let me just get a cheat meal. I sat there and picked out what I wanted on the DoorDash app. DoorDash app crashed, y'all. It crashed, so I couldn't even order my food. Everything was saying pickup only, and I was not leaving to go get anything because then it started pouring down raining. So then I was like, babe, can you please just go get me something from Wendy's? He got me something from Wendy's, and y'all, the food that he brought back was the wrong food. So I was forced to eat a spicy sandwich that I didn't even want. Y'all, I just did not enjoy my cheat meal at all, okay? At all. And it's crazy how when you like stop like drinking and things like that, you can't handle it like you used to because I only could drink one of those drinks that I had last night, one. So, I mean that I made last night, but now I'm on my way to the gym, y'all. So honestly, I'm gonna keep it a buck, 3,000. I might have a cheat meal today because I feel like I did not enjoy my cheat meal yesterday. And honestly, honestly, y'all, if we are being completely honest, yes, it was a cheat meal, but even besides the point, I still didn't go over my calories. I still did not go over my calories for the day, for yesterday. So, a win is a win. <laughs> I'm mad because I left my dad on book bag at home and I'm not going back. That is dead. I have my son with me because he is going to a birthday party. The birthday party is by. What must have been an accident? A huh? It's uh, beside grandma. 
Well, that's not where the place is, but that's where his house is. It's like three minutes away. The birthday party is close to the gym that I'm already be at, so I wasn't going all the way home and then bringing him all the way back here. That won't happen. And so we're going to the gym today. Other than that, y'all, I did want to go to Sephora and smell the new Kaali um, pistachio perfume that came out. But I don't know if I really want to do that because the Sephora VIB sale starts April the 4th. And I don't supposed to be spending no money anyway. I don't know if I want to do that or not, but I really want to smell it. But it's like, it's been highly talked about online. So it, those are one of those things where it's like, if I don't get it, sell out. You know what I'm saying? If I get it, I'm probably definitely going to get the, um, Oh, you know what? You know what I could do, you guys? I do have a $10 reward on Sephora. I could just get the travel size. I think the travel size was $25, I want to say. So that means I will only be spending $15, technically. Because I feel like it's going to sell out. Because you know how when something is like hot commodity. Just like when the Fenty perfume came out, everybody wanted it, so it was sold out. I'm not even gonna say I don't feel like working out today, but I don't feel like working out today. Uh, I'm out of the gym. I had an okay workout. It was just okay. Like, it's just, I only burned 377 calories today. But, you know, and this is gonna sound like complaining, but I'm truly not complaining. It's just when I go to the gym on Saturdays or on the weekends in general. What are you, sir? I can't. People truly do not know how to drive. Like, truly. Like, I'm trying to back up and turn to leave my parking spot. But he's so close to me, trying to get in my parking spot, that I can't even move. I think my biggest thing today was, it's several things. For one, I'm not used to going to the gym on the weekends. Usually on the weekends, like, oh, oh, sorry. Usually on the weekends, I um kind of like take a break or only do cardio. I really don't be in there like doing weight training. But today I did weight training because my friend was with me. And it was just so many people. It was so many people. But they really wasn't like interfering with, you know, the machines or anything like that. It's just that when it come down to you like trying to use dumbbells or whatever, some you know, most of the time the um the the weight that you want is not available because it's so many people, so it's being used. Okay. So that's that. And then as y'all know, I've said it time and time again, it's that time of the month, you guys. So I just I'm trying to give myself grace because this is something that as women we have to go through you know what I'm saying it's, it's natural and I don't think that it's expected you know what's crazy I was listening to a podcast of, uh, with um, Charlamagne the guy and somebody some um, dude that he do a podcast with and they were just seeing how they feel like when it's that time of the month for women that we should be able to get a break like we should be entitled to have time off work we should not be required to do anything and I could not relate to that more than ever right now because it's like when it's that time of the month and I know it's not for everybody but you know some women experience it in different ways some women is not heavy and they don't have pain or cramps or whatever and then some women they do like myself I, I experience it really bad it might not be necessarily heavy but it's just the pain is terrible and it's been like that since I was since it started for me like since I was a teenager so but I try my best to get through my workout I did what I could and that's what it's just gonna be um, tomorrow will be better though um, tomorrow was supposed to be another rest day, but instead of it being a rest day, I'm just going to go in there and do like a full workout because today I didn't do everything that I was supposed to do. Also, you know, I'm really loving the strength that my body has now. The stamp, you know, the, I'm about to say stamina, but like the endurance and stamina, you know, my endurance is like, isn't that the same thing, endurance and stamina? I don't know. Is I could tell the difference. 
so even when this challenge is over I'm for sure not doing two a days every day because that's just too much wear and tear on my body but I'm gonna do it often people really be looking at me because they see a camera <laughs> ah, I can't wait until I'm in my new car and I got some tents baby I do have tents on this car but I think it's the legal tent like when I get my new car baby for sure we're going illegal with it not too illegal to the point where they're going to always swim over but illegal to the point where the police got to be like mm. I don't know if that's legal or not legal and I don't feel like pulling her over to find out so like borderline illegal you know what I'm saying because you could definitely see all through my car anyway y'all that's nonetheless we're about to go into the mall to go smell the perfume and yeah because his birth the birthday party that he going to it don't start until 12 I have to have him there at 12 and it's 10 51 so we still have a little bit of time I would have kept working out more but my son was like ma can you please have a there's too much going on people was over there squishing people on top of the wall but what were you doing on my phone but okay so was they bothering you yes how was they squishing you no they just kept talking to me they kept okay talking. so they, my one little boy said you got to go to phone okay but what did I tell you you have to have control over yourself. Don't if, if somebody is not touching you, don't allow what other people is saying to bother you. Okay? I just didn't want to be disturbed. You didn't want to be disturbed. We gotta wait until eleven o'clock. The mall not open yet. Open the door. Did they not know it's eleven o'clock? It's eleven oh one. Eleven oh one. I didn't even try to pull on it. Usually the door opens. Oh, it is open. I'm sorry. I'm used to the door being open. You go ahead. Come. It's, it's, it was technically, I just left it open. Oh, okay. This one smells good. Mm, I like that one. Mm, that one smells good. Okay, y'all. So I also have a reward from Bath and Body Works that I want to use. So I'm going to go and do the, get that as well because i do need some more um car car fragrance so i'm gonna go in here and reward that they gave me a free gift i think for up to 16 dollars 50 so we're gonna use that okay so my favorite ones of course cactus blossom i like champagne toast and I can do endless weekend. I like endless weekend. That's smell good. Okay. Y'all, Bath and Body Works know how to make some money. Look, they don't make the thing to put the and only their hand soap. Because you know their hand soap is shaped funny. Wow. <laughs> I'm waiting for my I'm back home, y'all. I got some dirty buffalo. So I got some dirty fries, which come with cheese and chili. And here go the wings. As you, it's definitely was saucy because I had to put it still in the bag. But 
I'm about to just sit and eat and relax. I'm not gonna eat all these wings, y'all. This is my cheat meal, but I'm not gonna eat all these wings. I'm probably gonna eat, mm, probably not even half, but maybe a quarter of it and get the rest of it to my boyfriend, but yeah. Hey y'all, I most definitely look like yesterday, okay? Mind your business. It's like, no, I'm playing. I look like yesterday because I got the same thing I had on yesterday. <laughs> I literally washed it and put it right back on because I ain't really going nowhere for for real other than to the grocery store to get the stuff that I needed for the drink and then that's it. But I don't even know. Right now, all I'm doing is going to get my son. My makeup is done though because I needed to film some content and I wanted to go to Target to film it. But my something came up with my friend that was gonna film it for me. So now I'm gonna try to see if my son can do it for me. He should be able to do it for me. I kind of need like two hands because I want somebody to film me filming the content, if that makes sense. I'm gonna film a YouTube short on this tripod I got. This tripod right here is very portable. It's so convenient. Well, I showed y'all yesterday. Why am I talking like I didn't already put y'all on? Oh, my feet hurt so mother bad. I told y'all yesterday my feet hurt and it hurt again. Remember, yeah, I told y'all that I cut my toenail off. And yesterday, when my son came in the house, he was like, Ooh, he said, Ma, you look so pretty. He said, But them feet, that's exactly how he said it. But them feet, like, boy, please. So, I I was like, Um, I just can't. This, these they're going, it's just, I don't know. It's like, I just did a whole conversation because somebody was looking at me so that's why it seemed like what are you talking about you bad anyway i hate when people look at me it makes me so nervous anyway y'all i got my partner in crime with me now he been blowing me up to come get him you have fun at the sharper lee park he went to a birthday party oh y'all remember me i be forgetting that i be telling y'all stuff like three or four times okay trying to clock me we about to go to Target so I can film the content content that I told y'all I wanted to film and then I also need to go to Wegmans because I want to get some salmon salmon I'm trying to think is there anything else that I need from Wegmans because only Wegmans has certain eggs Listen, Wegman eggs be too much. I can go to food line. I'm talking about like well, some you know, of the back in the day the eggs used to be like something percent. Yeah. Now they about ten dollars. Ten dollars for them eggs? Well they ain't that much, but they trip. That's all I know. My favorite pasta. We are about to go into Target. Y'all gonna see it from my point of view of me actually like filming it. Like filming it, like I'm gonna have y'all recording, showing me or whatever, and then I'm gonna show y'all the product on the camera of what I'm, because when I, if I use my actual camera, I'm gonna have to do it in vertical. But I'm gonna have to turn my camera in vertical instead of putting it in um, horizontal or I'm gonna have to put it in portrait mode instead of landscape, however you look at it. But um, so my camera is gonna be like that because I'm gonna have my camera and then I need to use my phone to actually put on the tripod so I can demonstrate, you know, how easy it is to get a clip or whatever. So yeah, so I'm gonna have it recording. 
these cameras out here show is taking a lot of pictures of license plates and I don't see nobody moving so why are you taking pictures of license plates trying to give people tickets? Hi! Uh -huh. It's crooked. What do you mean it's crooked? Wait. It's fine. Just move. I see it. It's better right there. Okay. Can you see me? Yeah. It looks like it's like you can see both of the owls now. Okay. At first you couldn't. I, I didn't want to see both of the owls. Oh. <laughs> let me fix it. All right. I fixed it. Huh? I fixed it. Okay, 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 I'm not gonna laugh. No, no, stop making me laugh. Oh, Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Red. I wonder how that was. Did I wonder if I look fat? <laughs> Why are you worried about that? Okay, come on, we did it. Alright, y'all. <laughs> I got the footage, but I was so scared to film. We got the footage. We got the footage. Okay. Time to go. Because people are looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, come on. Y'all, we're back home. I want to show y'all what I got from Sephora because I'm about to put up the stuff. Now, this is something that I ordered and I had or I had this for like maybe a week or two now. Probably longer. I don't know, but I've been saving it to show y'all what I got before I put it up. I just kind of re-upped on my favorites. So, I got the Fenty Skin. I re-upped on this. I've had it before. I, I like it. This is the unscented one. My skin is, is sensitive and it does not break out my skin. Now, let me tell y'all. I don't know. I've been using this for about a week now. And I've been getting some bumps so I've been getting some bumps on my face, but I don't know if it's because I also have been working out really, really hard and sweat has been on my face more than usual. So it's a couple of different things that might be going on in the spaghetti sauce and I don't know which one. Okay, so I got that. I also got another of the Hula Toasted. This is the Benef by Benefit Cosmetics. I love this. Perfect for brown girls. Okay, I do not contour at all. I only use this love it love it love it the other one i had i accidentally dropped it and it shattered but i still been using it but i said let me stop being ghetto because if i need to travel with it all the little all the little droplets is going to be all over my my luggage and it's just messy so i re-upped on that i got the charlotte tilbury this is their airbrush flawless setting spray uh, they only had the mini in stock so that's all i got i love this setting spray i've been using it for years now I don't use any other setting spray. I just stick with that. 
I got the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have not used this in a couple of years. I've been using the Tatcha Canvas Silk Primer. But when I was using this, I did love it. I just ran out of it and tried a new primer. And now that that one is about done, I'm going to go back to this one. So I really, really like this. I got a mini of the Fenty Skin. This is their Butter Drop. This is in the original scent. Mm -hmm. I really like this. It, it definitely has your skin looking nice and moisturized and just it just it do your body good, honey. And you know, you know something that's good to mix with this. Dang, what brand is it by? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to put it on the screen, you guys. I'm gonna put it on the screen, but let me tell you this mixed with this oil that that's right here. This oil that's right here mixed with this. Let me tell y'all, y'all body, baby, listen, listen, your body is, listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, when I wear those two together, for one, it smells good, and for two, I get compliments on my skin, it looks, it, it looks good, so, mm -hmm. I got another of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, I have told y'all about this several times, I love this moisturizer so much. But I got it in the big size this time because I've been getting the $30 bottle, which, girl, it lasts me like two weeks. So I got this. <laughs> and then this is the only thing that I got that is um, new that I have not used it before. This is the Laneige. I don't know how to pronounce this word, y'all. <laughs> Whatever this is, sleeping mask, okay? I got this because it says it helps with moisturization. I've been having some dry spots on my face, like on my eyelids, on the side of my face right here. The um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream has been helping with it, but I just wanted something a little extra, mm, and I don't use mask at all. This is something that is said to use only a couple of times a week, and then transition in the beginning, and then transition over to once a week. So you just sleep. It's not like you put it on your face and you wash it off. Well, you do wash it off, but in the morning time. So you put it on this face, sleep with it. Look, it say after moisturizer, apply evenly across face as the last step of your skincare routine. Leave one overnight and rinse off in the morning. Yeah. So also, you guys, let me tell y'all. Recently, so I had got the um Aqua De Joya. I had the regular bottle. This is not it right here, but this is the size bottle that I had for the Aqua De Joya. This is just a different version. This is the Terra De Joya. But this is the same size bottle. So I had Aqua De Joya. I ran out of it. I also had a travel size because I had got a duo, which was like the big bottle. And then this ran out of this too. Y'all, let me show y'all what my neighbor popped up at my door with. And mind y'all, she this was a gift only because she was she wasn't feeling good. And um I had gave her some cough drops from some Theraflu. And y'all, she came to my door with this unexpectedly. Let me show y'all. Still in the wrapper and everything, y'all. I'm so appreciative. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out. I've been waiting to show y'all before I take it out. And it's a 1.7 ounce, which I think is the same ounce as the one I had, is it? What size bottle is this? Oh no, it's bigger. So I had the one ounce. She gave me a 1.7 ounce. I ain't never had a 1.7 ounce before in that. See where get being nice to people get you? Yes, you guys. I this, y'all. This, this. Let me tell you, let me put y'all on. Do I want y'all smelling like me? Because let me tell you, I wore it yesterday and I got some compliments, y'all. This mixed with this. So the Valentino mixed with the Aqua de Joya. Let me tell y'all. You will smell so mother loving good. You will smell like Somebody want to eat you. Like, you would just smell so good. Okay. So, we got that. Then I need to show y'all what I got from um, Bath and Body Works and open the Kaali. Which y'all? That's it, y'all. That's it for the world. I got to edit it so I can give it to y'all, okay? I know you're gonna miss me. I know you ain't gonna be able to wait until next Sunday for another vlog. But I'll be back though. Alright? I'll be back. <laughs> Let's take this makeup off, y'all. Woo! Let me tell you. As much as I love makeup, I love taking it off, baby. Love taking it off.
It's like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> I'm gonna hop in the shower. <sighs> I'm using the Neutrogena makeup removal wipes. Oh, I really don't know if I like wipes. I don't know. Sometimes I be feeling like this is breaking my face out sometimes. Because my face is really sensitive, you guys. Like, I cannot use a whole bunch of stuff on my face. You know how, like, people be having, like, 15-step makeup routines? Baby, I can't do that. Okay. Oh, and I only wear one earring because that's the only earring you can see. I'm going to wash the rest of my face in the shower. Okay. So, I'm going to wash. I'm about to take a shower, you guys. Then, I have to cook for my kids. Let me show y'all this, y'all. Do y'all see that? I got me a, the water running, so I can't really go in there right now. But I got a phone holder for my shower because I, at first, like, I was so against getting it because I was like, Yvette, if you need a phone holder for your shower, like, that's sad. But I don't just be watching, like, videos in there. Sometimes I like listening to stuff. And we do have a Bluetooth speaker in our, sh like, in the overhead. But it's not loud enough. And I feel like, Especially when the water is going, I feel like you can't really, like, it drowns out the sound a little bit. I don't know if the builders that built this house put the cheapest speaker they can find, but it's just not loud enough. So, I like that. And I can still, like, touch the screen because at first I was just having my phone, like, propped up on the little shelf in there. For one, that's not good for your speaker, of course. And then for two... Hold on, y'all. I'm going to put my shower cap on. For two, um, the water kept touching my screen. And, like, you know how, like, when water will touch your screen, it'll, like, change the video or start texting people. <laughs> and you like, I did not mean, or calling people. I did not mean to do that, baby. So, yeah. So, um, and did I tell y'all my neck started breaking out again? I don't know if y'all remember my neck was breaking out really bad because of my eczema. So, it's starting again. So this time I'm getting I'm putting medicine on it pronto so it don't drive me crazy. I feel like we did a lot in this vlog. What y'all think? I see when when it's time to edit. I'll be like, girl, you did too much. Now you sitting there scratched trying to edit all this stuff. Okay, I'm about to get in the shower, y'all. Uh, I'm out the shower. Hair still got wet because anyway, I ain't worry about it. Um, what I'm about to do. Let me take my contacts out first. Oh wait, should I? No, let me moisturize my face first. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury to moisturize. Cause I'm dry ever right now. So I got moisture in my face now. Good gracious. Man, this thing hard as ever to get open. Oh Lord. Like why is this so hard? God dang. This is ridiculous how hard this is op to open. Like, it still isn't coming off. Y'all. Whatever. I'm about to just open, do it just like that. I don't even know how much to use. I don't, what do I say? Apply, apply evenly across face. So to me, it gives like a similar texture as, um, on my eyelids for sure to me it gives a similar texture to the magic curve i'm gonna have to try to get that off at a later date y'all i look a mess literally okay now i'm gonna put some medicine on my skin so what i'm what my doctor gave me is the top is off of it but try Try and miss alone. Child, I don't know. I'm gonna put 
this on my skin because my, my neck it's been irritating something is irritating my neck for some reason and i have been taking my products like my face products down to my neck so i don't know if that's it but it's something definitely been irritating my neck so i look like a dead on i feel like i've been rolling around in grease let me wash my hands so i can take my contacts out Did it come out? No. Dang. <sighs> oh, my glasses is dirty. Let me clean them right quick. All my stuff all on his side. He gonna be complaining. I'm gonna just pile everything on. Get it off his side. Y'all, he do not like when I pile my stuff up on his side. Because he be like, I don't put my stuff on your side. Which he don't, but still. Okay. Laneige sleeping, lip sleeping mask. Even though I'm not going to sleep right now. But my lips is. Real dry. I'll be glad when my, my skin get back on track. Because right now, it's just these bumps. And I feel them under my skin too. So I don't know what that is about. But... I don't care y'all I just was trying to look a little decent but it is also I need to put some medicine on my but this time I'm going to use my clobetazole y'all remember when I went to the dermatologist and I was telling her I used this and she was saying it's kind of strong but I still like it because the clobetazole it heals um eczema really quickly however the problem is if it's too like say for instance if i put it on my neck that's such like a it's so close to my eyes that it's it was like too strong so yeah but i'm gonna put it right there that's the only place i'm kind of having irritation and also oh, y'all see right there yeah that like i my eczema shows up a lot in crevices but this right here is showing up because of my Apple Watch. Like, I go to the gym so much that it's always moist right there. Oh, shoot. Dang it. He's home. And I got stuff on the side of his bed. All right, y'all, be back. Y'all, look at my shirt. <laughs> it's like this because of my neck, but why do I look so dark? Come on, lighten up. There you go. Well, it lit up a little bit. Well, let me show y'all. So Bath and Body Works today, they had their wallflower for two, $2.95, which the guy said that that was the lowest that it has, that he has ever seen it go. He said typically they'll do like $3.95, but he never seen it go to $2.95. And I had a 20 25% off my entire order coupon. So they ended up being $2.21 for me. So I got some wallflower plug so i got mahogany tea i'm gonna tell y'all the, the fragrances i got i got my i got mahogany tea wood i did not mean to get this mahogany tea wood radiance oh <laughs> radiant sky hello beautiful fiji white sands cactus blossom raspberries and whipped vanilla so those are all the ones that I got. The mahogany teak wood more than likely is gonna go in either the garage because that's where my um, that's where he be at. Because mahogany teak wood to me is more of like a masculine scent. 
So, and I really don't care for masculine scents personally. So it's either gonna go in the garage or it's gonna go maybe in the downstairs bathroom or in the boys room. But my son, he picked out the Radiant Sky one for his room. So I don't know, anyway. Then I got three, they had three for 11 for the car fragrance refills. I really, really, really like their car fragrance refills. I got Cactus Blossom, of course. This is my favorite Bath & Body Works scent, hands down. Hands down, Cactus Blossom. I got Champagne Toast, and I also got Endless Weekend, which is in my car right now, so I don't have that one to show you guys. Then I got a candle holder, because I was like, this is so cute. So I got this, this is for their single wick holder. So it looked like a little lotus flower. It's so pretty, you guys. Just ooh, probably, I'm gonna put this in my office room. And well, I still do have the tag in here, endless weekend, but it's in my car right now. And then I got a candle, cactus blossom. It fits perfectly in there. I really wouldn't. I prefer to not get this one. Um, in the single wick because I don't like how the labels are and I know somebody might be saying does that really matter but just for the look of it I don't like how the labels are but I had a coupon that I could redeem a gift up to $16.95 and the way that Bath & Body Works do it a lot of the stuff that they do like the other candles that had just like the um, pull off top you know the regular top that suctions on the candle those were $17.95, so I couldn't get those. So the only ones that were $16.95 were all the screw top ones. And they had like the ugly labels. So I had to get this one. This wasn't even $16. It was $15.95. So I couldn't even find anything that was $16.95. Maybe their body stuff, but I don't get their body stuff. The only thing that I get from them as far as body-wise is their eucalyptus, their eucalyptus mint um body scrub y'all now that i like that it's very very moisturizing and then i already know what i got from sephora but we're just gonna open it together so i got the kaali this is the travel size of the juicy apple y'all see it y'all see it okay let's maybe just i don't know just trust me juicy apple so let's open it. I'm really like blown that I did not like the um the the new one they have because I love the color of the bottle. It's such an aesthetic. That's one of my favorite colors, like that lime green color. Well, it was more of like a it was more like a mint color. I really like that color, but I just didn't like how it smelled. Anyway, oh okay, it's a cute little bottle. This is how it looks. I really like how this smell though. Yeah, this 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 is my type of scent. This is my type of scent for real. Ooh. Y'all, it smelled good. That now that that's a fragrance. I'm gonna have to get the big one. It says juicy red apple, wild berries, jasmine. Lychee, vanilla flower, and sensual musk. That jank smells good. Mm, 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 mm. So that's it, you guys. Also, just to let you know, just in case you didn't know, because they let me know, that the Sephora savings event is coming up. If you're a Sephora, inside, Sephora insider, you get 10% off from April 18th to the 24th. VIB gets 15% off from April 18th to the 24th. And then Rouge gets first access, which is 20% off from April 14th through the 24th. And then the Sephora collection is 30% off from the 14th to the 24th. Use code save now. <laughs> All right, so that's it you guys. That is it for this vlog, okay? I have to wake up at five in the morning and edit this for you all to make sure that it's up at a decent hour tomorrow, so. As always, I love you so, 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 so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video.